Hi, it's Rachel from Tea and Forget Me Nots. Are you a painter or an upcycler and do you ever look at something that you've already refinished and think it's not quite right? So that's what's happened with today's project. So this is a small half moon table that I've already refinished and I was looking at it and it just didn't feel quite right. And then I found the most beautiful decoupage paper so I decided to change my plan and repaint it black. Here's my pretty green half moon table. I really liked this but you know when you just think to yourself mm, it's not quite right and you need to do something different with it. I sat with it for a while and it was only when I saw a beautiful decoupage paper that I liked that I thought actually this is probably what this little table needs. The natural veneer top was finished with hemp oil originally so I needed to remove that before I would be able to paint on top of it. To remove the hemp seed oil I use some white spirits or mineral spirits. Fortunately it's an easy process, you just rub it in with a clean cloth. It is a bit of a smelly process so you want to wear gloves and do it in a well ventilated area. After removing the hemp oil I then sanded the top to give better grip for my paint to adhere to. For the black I chose the silk paint called Anchor which is a really lovely true black. I thought this would be a lovely complement to the decoupage paper that I was using which has both a lilac -y, pretty sky but then also some deeper darker colours in the trees and greens. I went around the edge of the table with a medium sized brush which got the majority of those ornate details and then went back in with a detailed artist brush to get into the tiny little nooks and crannies. It was a little bit sad to say goodbye to those gold details, I thought they were really pretty, but I don't think they would have looked right for the new look that I was going for. After two coats of paint it was looking solid and lovely and it was time to apply the decoupage paper to the top. This isn't a necessary step but I thought it would possibly save me some pain later so I added some frog tape around the edge because I didn't want the finish to look different if any got over the edge which was quite likely considering the shape of the table. How I applied the decoupage paper I used the iron on method and the iron on method is to start with doing a few coats of the medium that you want to apply it with. So I used a clear coat, which is what I normally use as a top coat and sealer. I really love when products double up and you can use them for several purposes. It saves a little bit of money from buying new products and just feels quite efficient. It's a good idea to brush from the middle outwards and then you're not getting build up on the edge where I put the frog tape. So it's a bit of a messy application initially, but once the entire tabletop was coated, I brushed it out nicely so there were no brush strokes to see. The next step is to leave this clear coat to dry and you can add more coats after that if you want to. So you could end up with three coats for the best chance of your decoupage paper sticking nicely. On to my beautiful decoupage paper. So this paper is called Late Aurora. To start I used a steamer to help get out some of the ridges where the paper had been folded. Then it was time to apply the decoupage paper. What you want to do is put a barrier between the iron to attach the paper and the table. So I put down a layer of parchment paper or baking paper which stops the decoupage paper from getting scorched. You have the choice whether or not you cut your paper to size before or after applying it. I did it after just because I had a little bit of a difficult shaped table and I knew I would get it wrong if I tried to cut this out in advance. A good way to trim it to size is to use sandpaper at an angle and gently go around the edges which breaks off the paper from the table. And another nice thing about this decoupage paper being so much larger than the table that I used it for was that I can use some of the edges that I saved for smaller projects. I 
could even make coasters that go near the table, which would be a cute little combination. After the paper was cool from the iron, I then went back and did my top coat to seal the paper. And again, I just used my clear coat that I'd used for attaching the paper on the bottom. And you can give this as many coats as you feel comfortable to make it as durable as possible. I left my frog tape on until after I'd finished sealing it, again to avoid getting any of the clear coats on the ornate edges and changing the finish. Black paint is notorious for causing problems with streaks and imperfect finishes and hemp seed oil, I feel, avoids all of those problems. It's got medium durability, so it's not the toughest, but then on a table like this, which is not a high traffic area, I think it will be perfectly good. It's always the case that upcyclers and painters say that the latest thing they've done is their favourite piece ever. Now, I liked my table before, but I think this is such an improvement. It helps that, of course, I think the decoupage paper is really beautiful, but the purples and blues and the greens are just stunning against that black matte finish. If you're interested in any of the products I've used today, including that beautiful new decoupage paper, then I'll leave them linked in the description so you can find out more about them. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye!